So we need to be careful always about drawing conclusions about how much uh, a single policy matters in a given election. People vote uh, not on individual issues usually, but a general sense of who's more competent to run the country, how the economy is going. I mean, there's an entire industry that tries to parse and tries to explain voting intentions and uh, how people actually vote as to opposed to how they tell pollsters they're going to vote. And, you know, climate change is still a uh, second order issue. People are still more understandably very worried about the short term economic prospects and their jobs. And there are multiple factors at play. Um, that said, I would find it hard to believe that anyone who really cared about climate change would vote um, for parties which have no discernible climate policy. Uh, I find that quite confusing, uh, but then I'm not in that target demographic at all. Um, what's making it so hard for Australian Prime Ministers to have a successful climate policy. There's now a long history of failure on climate change and people know that if you propose something that is unacceptable to um, well-funded corporate interests, they will probably come after you in public and that will cost you. And so the lesson of the Rudd and especially of the Gillard defeats was don't go too hard, don't go too ambitious on climate change. The Greenies to your left are never going to vote for you anyways and you're going to lose more votes uh, to your right. Um, and that's a, a sort of a simple or simple-minded electoral calculus, but it's, it, it kind of adds up. The thing to remember though is that Australia has a federal system, so what's happening at federal level is not necessarily replicated at state level. So my state, South Australia, we had a, uh, a premier called Jay Wetherill who went hard on climate change and he lost, but there was actually a swing to his party, Labour Party, at the 2018 state elections. But boundary changes meant that they needed a 4% swing and they, they got a 2% swing. So it's Elections are crude measures and you need to be careful and you also need to take into account that uh, in Australia we have a federal and uh, a federal system with federal government having some responsibilities and state governments having other responsibilities.